I got a lot of flack in my last Attack on Titan video. I was hating on Connie's mom, but people are like, Nick, how could you hate Connie's mom, but you like Gabby? I don't like Gabby. I love her. As if she's my own child. I don't like Connie, okay? I said it! I said it! Kill me. Nail me to a cross. Do what you must. I want you guys to let me know down below right now. If a building was on fire, and Connie and Gabby were in that building, but you could only save one, which character would you save? Even if I could save them both. I just saved Gabby. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the show. We did it, guys. Godzilla has come to attack on Titan. Oh my god, we're back to the Trost District. Holy shit, I thought they were goners. Oh shit, this is where um 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 Annie is being held captive, I believe. Wait, is that bitch? Hitch? Did she get hotter? Oh my god, she got hotter. Oh, God. <laughs> it was a small price to pay. This lady is dying. Her whole family probably got fucking squashed. It's a small price to pay for the um, elder Eldia. I come every time I hear his name. Give your heart, soldiers! Is this how you do it? Or like this? Or like this? Uh, I forgot. Oh, wait, no, that's Wakanda, I think. I love while this is going on in the background, you just hear destruction. You just hear these titans. They're probably going to be walking for the rest of the season, for all I know. I feel like there's a million trillion of them. I miss the old times. The Trost District. They're so oblivious. They don't know what the fuck is going on. My girl is back! Wait, my girl? I never liked Annie. Bro, I am such a piece of shit. I am such a liar. Hitch and Annie were in the same unit, weren't they? So there's like some thing there. Something. I don't know. Is that- that- no, that's- That is Annie. <laughs> I missed that ring! Oh shit, bro, it's been like six seasons since I've seen her. She looks the same. I mean, of course she does. She's crystallized. That's a little weird. When she sees Aaron and everyone, and Aaron looks like Jesus Christ met Moses. And then Annie just looks like baby Annie still. You know how much has happened since she's been crystallized? <laughs> Damn. Oh, I, I, oh, I want to be tossed around by Hitch. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> Do it, Annie. Do it. This is tense. Bro, how are they going to top this intro for the final season? I don't know, but I'm here for it. Fun fact. I actually have not watched any of that, like the intro, because I know there's spoilers. A lot of you are like, if I watched it, I would know Annie's here. I would know a lot of spoilers by now if I watched that intro. Isn't it crazy how they spoil you in its own intro? Like, why? Why would you do that to us? Thank God I haven't watched it. I think I did when I reacted to all the intros, but luckily I don't remember because I didn't watch the show yet. Thank God in my mind is like, you throw something in it, it comes out the other ear instantly. Thank God. 82. We're definitely going to episode 100. The horse! The god horses are back! She heard everything? Like, she was still conscious in when she was being crystallized? So I'm sure she probably has all the seasons down in her head. Like, Hitch ran it down to her as if she was reading the manga itself. Like, she was reading, Oh, Eren became the Founding Titan. Armin became the Colossal Titan. Brr-brr-brr-thom, babaduk died. That's insane, bro! She was, uh, she was conscious! She was, like, prisoned within her own mind. That's scary shit right there. Oh man. Yo, when they put Annie away, it was because of something she was doing. Now it's like she's come into this world, and now look how much has changed. Like, look where Eren is. Eren's trying to destroy the world. It's like flipped now, kind of. Isn't it crazy how this shit works? 
Are these fuckers gonna be walking the entire season? <laughs> They're still cleaning up after that fight? I felt like that happened when I was five. Does she have like a change of heart while she was imprisoned? Are we gonna see a good Annie? Yo, I have a feeling all of these characters are gonna regroup. Like you're gonna have Mikasa, Armin, Reiner, Annie, Gabby. Like all of these characters who, that were at odds for seasons are all gonna be back together. Like just to come against a common enemy. That's such creative storytelling. That's long-term storytelling that a lot of media lacks. <laughs> Fuck the world. Huh? I wouldn't save it either. <laughs> little Annie. Look at her, like a little potato. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if this motherfucker is dead. Oh! Yo, doesn't he look like a thumb a bit? Oh, I'm gonna bust the nut to this music. Yeah, kick his ass! Yeah! Break his legs. Rip his leg off and beat him with it. Yeah, yeah, hold it in pain, you piece of shit. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you piece of shit. He got what he wanted. That's what he wanted, bro. He's crying. Those aren't tears of, of sadness. Those are tears of joy. He's like, I've been waiting for you to beat the shit out of me your entire life. Now that you've done it, I am so proud of you. Oh, God, I hate men. I hate them. And I know if you're a man watching this, you're going to be like, Nick, you hate me? Yeah, I do. I fucking hate you. I'm joking. I love you guys. But still, I hate men. She's telling her whole life story on this horse. This horse is hearing this. The horse is going to start crying. I'm telling you. Wow, yo, you feel for these cats. This is what I mean. I just made a, I just made a video about this. How with Attack on Titan, you hate characters, but then something happens and a story's told so you love them, so you don't entirely hate them yet. They do this with everything, bro. It's like I'm starting to love Annie. I feel so bad for her, man. She's just depressed and lost ever since she was a child. That's why she looks fucking dead half the time. She looks like she needs like a, a long ass night of sleep. Oh. No wonder she looks like that. Look what she's been through. He had a change of heart. Oh, I don't want to see him cry. I don't know how I feel about this without getting canceled. <laughs> I don't give a fuck at this point, but you guys gotta let me know down below. How do you feel about this? Like, would you be on her side? Like, I feel like she still cares about her father because it's her father, I guess. But, like, going through that training, beating her ass when she was a kid, like, do you agree with that? And I know there's a lot of room there. Like, people are like, oh, it set her up for the world. It set her up for all of this. And if it wasn't for that, she wouldn't be prepared and ready to fight in this world. She would be stepped on like that butterfly that's at the end of the intro. Like, she'd be stepped all over. But because of his training and the way he treated her, she's like this. But at the same time, you don't do that. You don't touch your child like that. You don't beat them like that. So it's like conflicted. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I would never do that to my fucking child. But I'm saying, like, I don't know how to see this. Hey, you guys gotta let me know down below. This is beautiful. She's been waiting to say all of this since she was crystallized. Oh man, oh that violin. Oh my god! Wow. It wasn't a dream, you little shit! The island devils are coming for you. Yeah, you know why they're coming for you? Because that's what you're saying underneath your breath. Just keep calling them devils. We'll see who the fucking devil is. It's just a dream. Yeah, everybody else had that dream. It's just a dream. You better start sucking Aaron's dick right now before he comes for you. You better go kiss your wife goodbye, buddy. Damn, bro, give it up. Don't you see what's going on right now? This ain't no time for the government! Man. Why do I feel for this little this piece of shit? Ah! 
So, so the rumbling didn't kill him. A soldier killed him. Oh, wait till Addy fight. Oh, Addy. Oh, man. Addy's gonna think Aaron did it. Oh, shit. I love you. The violin in the background during this, this destruction. It's so beautiful. Why is the end of the world so peaceful? I'm too old to live in the mountains and shit outdoors anyway. Oh, I love him. I'm gonna miss his humor. He's definitely dying. 100%. There's no room for him in this show. There's too many people alive right now. We need to start flicking motherfuckers out. He's looking out for his soldiers. Oh, shit. Fuck. This guy. Oh, he's my daddy now. Oh, shit. Oh, not Connie! Oh my god, it's all his fault, I swear to god. You know what you say to him? Fuck your mama. That's what you say to him. I'd exactly say that. <laughs> oh my god, Armin. I wouldn't even go that hard. But okay. <laughs> go ahead. Big balls, Armin. He has those colossal balls. That's colossal dick energy right there. He's losing his fucking marbles. Think about that, man. Like, there, while Eren is over here destroying the world, there's so much else happening, and that's all he cares about. Like, he's like, when all this going on, I can't even think about Eren destroying the world right now. That's like something else. I don't fuck the world, bro. How about our world? How about the captain and Hanji and everything? Mikasa is beginning to understand. Oh. Ooh, he said the urban word. Oh, and then he walks out. Oh, fuck. Oh, how do you leave her after saying that? Where the fuck's the scarf? Oh, not these ugly kids again, bro. I get depressed whenever I see them. Her name isn't Mia, you little bitch. Call her Gabby right now. You, you fucker! I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna strangle her. <laughs> huh? They're like sisters. Oh, that's cute though. You shouldn't have called her Kaya. You should have called her Benny or some shit. Oh my god! Oh, that's cute. Meanwhile, bro, someone needs to put a bullet in Floke's head. I swear to God, man, this guy is just—I don't know what happened to him, but he must be going through something internally. Like, there's something not right in the head for Floke, bro. That's why he has a bandage around his head. He has some br serious brain damage. This guy just needs to jump off that castle right now, man. Just push him off. It's right there at the ledge. I'll watch it. I'd, re I'd record that. I'd enjoy every second of it. I used to like the little bastard. Look at John, bro. John is like a full daddy right now. Bro, Eren doesn't like you. He's fucking crazy! He got that ass though, I'm not gonna lie. How fucking long are they gonna be walking? How many are there? Bro, there's like 90 of you. Just jump on this dude and murder him. Holy fuck. This guy is evil! Look at him! Mikasa, get away. What are you doing here? John, get away from that fucking window, bro. Oh my god, this guy thinks he's... He's the prodigal son? Uh, look, I, I... that. Oh my god, the fucking horns just started playing. Why did I pause? What's going on with this show, man? But look at John's reaction to this, this lunatic talking. That's literally me right now. That's like all of us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, kill his ass! 
Uh oh. Oh, they ain't dead. You know what that means? We're gonna be. They're gonna show them now. <laughs> I love when they play the outro during a scene. What a fucking liar! A hospital? This hospital's in in, in Eldia? Or Shigajina? Oh God. He's gonna make him feel bad. Yes, yes, Bob, I'll make him feel bad. Oh my god, wait a minute. He actually believes he's taking him to a hospital. Falco, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? I think you need to talk to Fox right now. Yeah, I'm sorry, but Colt? Colt is, is part of your boot right now. Holy shit! Oh my god, I just fucking messed up my pants. Thank you, thank, thank you, Attack on Titan. I forgot about these two bastards. Ah! Yes. No preview, nope. I got a lot of flag in my last video for talking about Connie's mom as if she's a real fucking person. I understand. I understand, okay? It's the story. We're, we're into it. We're deeply into it. I understand. I do understand. I mean, put yourself in his position. Exclude yourself out of anyone else's position. Put yourself in Connie's body, his mind. Experience what he has experienced through his emotions. You would do this too. Honestly, you would. So, from that perspective, I do understand. I understand. It doesn't mean I have to agree with it. There's bigger things happening. And I know it's easy for me to say because it's not me going through this. But, logically, there's bigger things happening in this universe right now. But, when your emotions are in place, you can't really juggle that. You just care about that. Like, you're your mom. You're your own personal grief. You want to save your mother. Okay. It makes sense. It makes sense. Like I said, if I was him, I would do the same shit. But I'm not him. So I wouldn't do that shit. I'd fucking shoot him in the face. No, I wouldn't do that. But still, this bigger thing's happening. That's b basically what I meant when, when I was talking about that. Okay? Okay? I don't hate Connie. I mean, I don't love him. He's like my least... Fa he's like my least favorite soldier. Like, I like Falco more than him. Of course I love Falco. I meant Floke. Floke. I like Floke more than Connie a bit. Because I feel like we haven't really got much of Connie. Connie's just there, I feel like. He's just there. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I love what Armin was saying in this episode, how... Like, I, I don't even have this whole Eren destroying the world thing on my mind. There's other things. <laughs> He's talking about Annie and Falco and Gabby and getting together with Reiner because he knows it's all part of the plan. That they cannot finish what their their mission is unless they're all together on the same page but that really gets me excited because we're gonna see all of these characters come together but just different mindsets now it's like the team from the beginning minus Eren all working together to come for Eren now to get him back on that side to get him back into his mind but we still don't know what Eren's really up to anyways guys that's gonna be it for today's video like I asked you in the intro, I want you to let me know down below if there was a burning building and you could only save one person, Gabby or Connie, who would you save? Y'all already know my answer. I said I only save Gabby, even if I could save both. Anyways, I love you guys. <laughs> See you in the next video.